think it's important to interview practitioners, have them answer your questions accurately, adequately, keep asking questions till you're satisfied with the answers you get, make sure they use a compass, very simple thing, make sure they know how to use their compass, make sure that they ask you just for your birth date, the date of construction of the house, and perhaps the time, the date you moved in. Other than that, they shouldn't be asking you anything. They should be able to tell you stuff that you otherwise wouldn't have anybody knowing. That's how you tell the good practitioners. London, New York, LA. These cities play host to such trend-setting lifestyles as feng shui, and we've done our share of stories in these cities. But here's a place we didn't expect to find feng shui. Karen? Thanks, Phil. We have seen a lot of homes and businesses in urban centers, but here in Northern Ontario, we found a place that recognizes the benefits of feng shui. Lake Obabaka Lodge is the ultimate feng shui getaway. We are a small place, uh, only room for 20 guests. That way we really can keep it uh, personalized, like a family. We are on a 20 mile lake, what is the first conservation limit lake in Ontario, what, is, what means it's protected for the future. Fishing is great. Uh, we are really remote, but still you don't have to fly and you can drive to us. Our cottages uh, are all equipped with uh, four-piece bathrooms. Most of them have two bedrooms. They have fireplace. We have a screened-in balcony. We have our sauna and the whirlpool direct on the beach. Uh, all the cottages and everything in the place is connected with boardwalks to the lodge. Then in the lodge we have the dining room. We have a little lounge, and we have a very nice uh, balcony on the on the lodge where everybody meets after dinner. Some even have a cigar. Uh, at the time we built the lodge, we really were not much involved with Feng Shui. Uh, the only oriental way of thinking we knew was from acupuncture. Uh, but about five or six years ago, Margie started getting involved, taking her first course with Master Joseph Yu from Toronto. Going to the course was a big consideration because we really had money issues. And uh, Master Yu is very well known for his teaching style, for his uh, integrity and uh, for his uh, support for his students so uh, I just really decided he was the one to go with. and he teaches traditional feng shui which is the one that really appealed to me. Well basically I teach how to integrate heaven, earth and man luck together. That is to say how to analyze the destiny of a person and how to use earth luck that is feng shui to help him and how to guide him to walk on the proper path that is the man luck so that he can bring his potential to the maximum. The most important things that Joseph had looked at that we all brought our plans so he said okay this is what you need to do. In the office, the energy there was not great. What Mark did was to open a new door so that when the good chi coming from the main door into the house is direct, directed towards the office. And once the office can enjoy that prosperous chi, the business will change. The first results went two days after. Immediate. Immediate, yeah, immediate result. The little thing is that my, our daughter was, since she could walk, sleepwalking. And after, even Margie, after her first seminar with Master Joseph, she came home and we implemented what she told us to do, my brother and me. Sarah stopped uh, sleepwalking two days after. The problem was she was right in line with the stairs coming up which is now when I think about it, it's horrible. <laughs> but uh, so she was sleeping right in line, the door was never closed. She learned from me and she knows where should there be water, where should be mountain, and where should the five elements be placed. The good thing about this piece of land is that 
it slopes gently from behind. And we say that the dragon, although it, we don't have noticeable mountain range here, we can feel that the dragon rests here and is stopped by the water. So this is the dragon's lair and it is exactly what we need for a good site. The water there is beautiful, it retains the energy, it retains the chi. The mountain is beautiful, you see the trees are beautiful. This is the energy chart of this site. It has the wealth coming from the south, but, well, they have decided to put the road there, and the energy coming from there is a fame and harmony. Well, they get what they want to. <laughs> the quality of the people, the quality of the guests, and to make the place famous. I would say that our place here by now is for sure the most and the best Feng Shui getaway. Uh, we not only implemented it for us personally and for our business, we also implemented it for our guests, for the cottages, for the whole place. So I think that the level of feeling comfortable, feeling good, having the Feng Shui, the energy flowing in a positive way, we really have achieved. Nobody will leave our lodge without having a ground education on Feng Shui. <laughs> you need to do something in your life. I'm very proud of what Margit has done, and I'm very proud of her talents. She did a marvelous job. All right, you've waited long enough, and here's the answer to today's FSL question. If you answered wind and water, you're right. And don't forget to check other feng shui-related topics at www.fengshuilife.tv. Thanks for watching. <laughs>